Welcome to lecture number 52 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquis and in this lecture we will learn how we can use the interactive walkthrough menu to play this water simulation. So let's get started. First of all under this animations folder I am going to select this water simulation and I am going to go into blueprints and I will select convert selection to blueprint class. I will select harvest components and I am going to select this folder. I'm going to select this geometry cache component and I'll rename this as water simulation bathroom. I'm going to uncheck these two boxes and I'll compile this blueprint. Let's talk this blueprint in here. I'll open this widget. I'm going to set the render opacity to one. And I'm going to select this button this one and in the event graph I'll bring in this node into the blueprint. I'll place it right here and and to make this blueprint work what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this node to get actors and under this drop down menu I'm gonna select this one bathroom faucet simulation blueprint this one okay I'm gonna connect this node with get and I'm gonna promote this to variable let's rename this variable as water simulation variable let's type in interactive walkthrough in the beginning I'm going to connect this node with this one. Okay. And by pressing and holding control on my keyboard, I'm going to bring this variable into the blueprint. I'll connect this node with play from start node. This one. And I'm going to connect this node with this one. Okay. Let's compile this blueprint and, and let's play this level. Let me set the render opacity back to zero. I'll press spacebar on my keyboard and I can run this water simulation by clicking on this button. Okay. Yeah. Now there is a problem that uh, when I press spacebar on my keyboard, I still have this fluid simulation button on my screen. And similarly, if I'll click on this button and if I'll press spacebar on my keyboard, those two light buttons are still visible on my screen. Okay. And this is because we need to set the render opacity back to zero. Let's uh, open this blueprint. And just like these canvas panels, I'm going to connect this node, get bathroom lights. Okay. And I'm going to connect this node with this one. Okay. Let's compile this blueprint. And now when I'll play this level. And if I'll click on this button. And now if I'll press spacebar on my keyboard. Everything will disappear. Yeah. So you need to do the same thing for all of these canvas panels. Okay. So that when you press spacebar on your keyboard. Everything disappears. We need to do the same thing for all of these kind of panels. Now before winding up the interactive walkthrough section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the render opacity back to one. Okay. And I'm going to select all of these buttons. And under this normal section, I'm going to type in 0.5 for the alpha value. Let's now set the render opacity back to zero and compile this blueprint. And now when I'll play this level, I'll press spacebar to edit. And now when I'll hover my cursor over these buttons, I'll see a change in opacity, which will make this interface a little bit user friendly. Okay. Yeah. 
so yes that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture we're gonna start working on our foliage section so for the next lecture make sure you download this tree pack okay so yes i'll see you guys in the next one